All right, we're going to plot the vectors and determine their length and direction. Uh, just to be clear, I'm using this formula right here. I'm going to do problem number six. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Um, whoa, I don't know what that is. How I got there? Let's get rid of that. Let's do some calculations. So first, vector A, let's just go ahead and plot it. So one, two, three, four, up one, two. Put the point right there. Draw the arrow to the point. So to get Vx, that's, sorry, to get the length of the vector, that's going to be 4 squared plus 2 squared. We're basically using Pythagoras' theorem, where this leg is 1, 2, 3, 4. And this leg here is 2. And this is basically the hypotenuse. The length of the arrow V is the length of the hypotenuse. So I can just take um, 4 squared plus 2 squared. And when we take the square root of that, we're going to get about 4.5. And let's go ahead and get the angle. To get the angle, we know the tangent of the angle is the y part over the x part, the opposite over the adjacent, which is 2 over 4. And we're going to take the inverse tangent of that to go from the tangent to the angle. And that's getting us 26.6 degrees. All right. So that's question A. Um, and then question B is going to be W equals... Um, We'll take the square root of 10, which is going to give us 3.2, um, because that's 3 squared plus 1 squared. And then the theta is going to be the inverse tangent of 1 over 3, and that's going to give us an angle of 70. Hang on, let me just try that one more time. The inverse tangent of 1 divided by 3. We take the inverse tangent of that, we're going to end up getting 18 degrees, 18.4 degrees. And once again, just to plot it, um, that's going to be over 3 and up 1. So I'm just going to finish out this problem and the solutions, uh, but I'll wrap up the video right here because really this is just an application of the formulas. And you have a couple more examples in practice test 1 as well.